and welcome to the Daily Digestion Channel. And welcome back to another video. Okay guys, so it's a beautiful day. I'm walking the dogs. It's probably, I don't know, 30 degrees or lower. Pretty cold out here. Jet! My dog just ran off. Jet! There you are! There you are! Hey, buddy! I hope you can see this. That's my buddy! That's my buddy, yeah. Jet. What's he doing? What's he doing, there, boy? Huh? Oh, he's so happy. He's the happiest when he can roll around in the grass, aren't you, Jet? Yeah, he loves it outside, even when it's cold. Don't you? You're such a good boy. Yes, you are. You're so good. You're a good boy. Okay, guys, so there's lots of transitions going on right now in my life. For you those know, of you who know, I'm 48 years old, and I'm at that stage where life is happening pretty hard. Um, no, 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 no. Uh, you know, it's kind of wild. Yeah, Maisie. We see you, girl. We see you. There's my girl. There's Maisie. There's Maisie. I love you. I love you, Maisie. I hope you can see her. But, um, but yeah, you know, it's, it's kind of crazy. Like, I'm 48 years old, and my daughter's 23, and she's just dropped the bomb on me. She's finally moving out. My baby girl. It's hard. And uh, it's a hard thing, you know. But uh, it's a good thing, too, because uh, there's a lot of freedom in that. And uh, it was time to cut the apron strings. I'll be the first to admit. I mean, she's 23. She didn't move out and go to college like most kids. Uh, we've always had a really tight relationship. And she's a smart girl. She didn't rush out into life. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. There's, now she's ready and she's going. And I'm not sure it's in the right direction. But, hey, who am I to decide, you know? It is what it is. So she's heading out and my baby boy is 17 now. Just turned 17 and uh, that's a trip. You know, I don't have to drive kids around all day. I had three kids and I don't have to drive them from ball game to practice, to piano practice, to all this stuff. So now I have all this free time and I've started an online business and I'm selling a, a vintage stuff and I go to garage sales, estate sales and I bargain shop around pick up stuff that I think that I can flip and make a few dollars on and it's working great. I've been amazed and I'm just doing it locally. That's the crazy thing. None of this, uh, you know, people pay PayPal and send it off. Come on guys! Let's go. Good boy, Jet. Good boy. He's a good boy. Yes, he is. He's so good. But none of this, uh, you know, trying to get. Man, let me show you. Let me all show my... you all my buddies. Here's the two cats. I don't know if you can see them. They're up there. The two cats we got, Buffy and Stony. Buffy, Stony, come here. <laughs> they're all paranoid because they're away from the house and they're not too sure about everything. They're so sweet. They're such good little cats. They're brother and sister. Stony, Buffy, come here. Come here, guys. Here, kitty, kitty. They're so sweet. And there's Jet. He's doing his run. Maisie, Jasper. Amazing Jasper. Okay, so um, yeah, I mean it's like it's not the end of the world, you know, and um, So things are looking pretty good uh, My digestion is amazing 
and it's because of the raw foods and uh, the enzymes I have to say and fasting and I'm doing inversions still I'm doing inversions on the um, on the inversion table not as much physical therapy as I was doing like the physical therapy yoga exercises and stuff like that but I yeah I have my inversion table out in the um, and I highly recommend that to anybody to do inversions um, because it's just a smart thing to do to do inversions because um, when you do inversions you are uh, you know taking gravity off of your body and pressure uh, where it's it's pushing down all day long and when you get to be my age and your age I mean any age anybody can prolapse anybody uh, 21 year olds have been prolapsed and you know sneezed and sneezed their uh, organs out of place so I mean it, it happens guys and what happens is when the fascia gets weak because of it could be stress, it could be nutritional imbalances, it could be lymphatic uh, flow, poor lymphatic flow. It could be many, many injuries that didn't heal properly, all kinds of things. And mine was a, a matter of all three uh, because life came at me really hard right after my bicycle wreck. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just a, a adrenaline junkie and I'm hardcore, you know hit the ground running, it's all or nothing. I'm, you know, push it, push it, push it. I mean, that's who I am. That's how I thrive. And it is what it is. I mean, fight or flight, we're all, you know, it's just part of the process of, um, you know, survival and uh, loving your fellow brother and sister, of course. You know, of course, we got to put things into perspective. And, you know, I just want to say my life has lined up because of God. And I really, really, truly believe that. It's because I got locked back into a church again and, um, and in community of fellow believers. And I have that support of them backing me and of me backing them. And... You know, it all works together, but you know, every 10% that I make goes to the church and I, I set it aside and I give it in the offering plate to, and we donate to all, all kinds of uh, organizations that help women and homeless children, homeless women, shelters, all kinds of programs out there helping the community guys because you know the problem with uh, the government helping with the community is their their deal is they're going to control everybody and uh, it's all about control and you really got to be careful with that when the government steps in uh, you know the situation because uh, it can it can get out of control and uh, we really don't want the government telling everybody what to do uh, you know this country was founded on us having a voice and uh, you know doing uh, you know what we we have to do uh, in order for everybody to be happy and we all need to have a voice in what's going on in this country. Uh, the minute that the government steps in and tells you how to live your life and what to do, you know, it's just, I don't want somebody telling me what to do. I, I don't, I wanna be able to take vitamins. I wanna be able to know for myself what vitamins I need to take and what, uh, you know, I need to do for my body. I don't want somebody telling me that I have to go see a medical doctor when I know that I can heal my body naturally or whatever, whatever the case may be. You know, there's thousands of issues that can come into play. 
But uh, that's it, guys. That's it today. And uh, I'm going to go in here. i got lots to get done. And I just thought I'd make a little video about uh, what's going on and um, what's happening. And um, here, let me show you my inversion table. 